Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice algebra system of equation? Let's divide this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. To find the value of a and b, where a is not equal to b here. Subtract equation 2 from 1, that is equation 1 minus 2. And from equation 1, what we have, we have a square minus b. Then we have minus equation 2, which is into bracket b square minus a. Then we have on the right hand side, 23 minus 23 equals 0 there. Then when we open this bracket, this becomes a square minus b, then minus b square. Then minus times minus x becomes plus a equals to 0 from here. Then we have a square minus b square, we bring it together. Then we have plus a then minus b, which is equals to 0 from there. Then this gives us half a square, that is, we have it in the form of a plus b. Then into bracket a minus b, close bracket, then plus a minus b equals to 0. We can equally put this in bracket, and when we factor a minus b out from here, this becomes a minus b, then into bracket a plus b left here, then we have 1 left here, that's plus 1, equals to 0 from here. Then here give us, you know, product of two numbers equals 0, either of these could be 0, so we have a minus b equals to 0 or we have a plus b plus 1 equals to 0 from here a is equal to b I already established that a is not equal to b from here then from here let's take one to that side we have a plus b now equals to minus 1 and let this be equation 3 from here then next also, let's add equation 1 and 2. So, equation 1 plus equation 2. Then, what we have in equation 1, on the left hand side, we have a square minus b. Then, plus on the left hand side of equation 2, we have b square minus a, and which is equals to. On the right hand side, we have 73 plus 73. As we have it in the two equations there. Then, in the next step now, when we are rich, let's bring the squares together. So here, we have a square plus b square. Then, minus a minus b equals to 146 then let's take minus a minus b to that side that is we have a square plus b square now equals to 146 plus a now then plus b and from here a plus b from equation 3 is simply minus 1 so what we have now become a square plus b square equals to 146 minus 1 now which gives us a square plus b square now equals to 145 and let's divide this as equation 4 then let's recall let's bring back equation 3 and from equation 3 what we have there which is a plus b equals to minus 1 and from here let's square both sides of this equation 3 we square this side also we square this side then the expansion here gives us a square plus b square plus 2ab now equals to minus 1 square is 1 
10, we already have a square plus b square to be 145 from equation 4. That this here can be substituted as 145, then plus 2ab now, equals to 1. Then we have 2ab is now equals to 1 minus 145. That is 2ab is now equals to minus 144. Then we can divide both sides by 2 from here. And 2 we cancel each other here. So that we have AB is now equals to minus 72 from here. Then in the next step, let's derive this as equation 5 now. Also in the next step, from the expansion of A minus B all square, this will give us A square plus B square then minus 2AB. And when we substitute what we have already here, that means we have A minus B all square will now be equals to A square plus B square from equation 4. We have 145. Then minus 2AB, that's 2 into bracket AB from equation 5, that's minus 72. And here yeah, this becomes A minus B or square will now be equal to 145 plus here will give us 144. And from here this becomes A square minus B square. A minus B or square rather will now be equal to 289 from here. Then let's square root both sides, the square root on both sides, square root to cancel square here. Then we are left with A minus B, which is equal to here will be plus or minus 17 from here. At this, we have two possible values of a minus b. Then from here, the first term we have a minus b equals to 17. Then we have a minus b equals to minus 17. Then we can solve each of these together with equation 3. That is, from equation 3, we have a plus b equals to minus 1. Also from here, a plus b equals to minus 1. Now, when we solve these two equations simultaneously, from here we can add to eliminate b. Then we have 2a now, b equals to 17 plus minus 1, that's 17 minus 1, which is 16. Now divide both sides by 2, and 2 cancels to here. That means a here equals to a. So now we can get the corresponding values of b. If this is a1, then from this equation 3, you can say b now is equals to minus 1 minus a. Then when we use this from here, we can then say b1 here is equals to minus 1 minus a1, which is minus, minus 1 minus 8 now. And b1 here is simply equals to minus 9. Then we can write this out as a1 comma b1 will then be equal to a comma minus 9. Then also on this side we can solve as well and add this to equation and this will give us 2a equals to minus 17 minus 1 give us minus 18. If I go side by 2 as well, we get 2 can switch over right here. A now equals to minus 9 from here. Then, also we can use this relation now. If this is A2 now, then B2 will then be equal to minus 1 minus A2, which is now minus 9. And which will give us B2 now equals to minus 1 plus 9. That's the same thing as 9 minus 1. So B2 now equals to 8. And we now have A2, comma B2 will now be equals to 
what we have here as a2 which is minus 9 then b2 now equals to a so these are the set of solution in this given problem and when we look at it the a1 here same thing as the b2 here the a1 here same thing as the b2 here and the b1 here same thing as the a2 here then from here we can check for you know if this satisfy the given equation here from equation one we have a square minus b equals to 73 so when we put the value of a and b from a square minus b equals to 73 for the first set of solution here we have a to the eight so this becomes eight square minus b now here is minus nine is this equals to 73 then 8 square 8 times 8 that's 64 then minus times minus plus 9 now is it equals to 73 and from here <coughs> 64 here plus 9 give us 73 which is equals to 73 now we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side then satisfy the equation one then also equation two which we have b square minus a equals to 73 <coughs> we can check that as well sorry please from equation two which is b square minus a equals to 73 now here yeah, let's still use this equation the first solution b square here that's minus 9 square in the arm, then minus a which is minus 8 is equal to 73 and minus 9 square minus square will become plus 9 square 9 times 9 that's 81 then minus 8 <coughs> is equal to 73 from here now 81 minus 8 here is of course giving us 73 which is equal to 73 and we have the left hand side equals to the right hand side and which will also be true for this second set of solution therefore we have come to the end of this class thank you for joining us subscribe to this channel for more videos and see you next class and bye for now